You see, African events never start on time. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. It never starts on time. So Chema got an invitation. Nice flyer with a time 5 p.m. Sharp. Chairman has never been to an African event before. And Chema is like, oh, you know, I've heard a lot of stories. Telling you people, you know, the food and things. I'm coming to try jollof, Ghanaian jollof, not Nigerian jollof, but Ghanaian jollof. The chairman gets there around 4.45, you know, at least. Let me show up early. Early is on time. <laughs> chairman gets there. The event, even the place is not even ready. The interior decorator just got there. They are just moving stuff in there. So chairman got there and then uncle was like, Oh, you are Helio. Can you help us move the chairs in? Ah, you know, chairman, chairman with swag, you know, right, you know, right um, um, attire, you know, African wear, first time wearing, Af you know, the African clothes. You want chairman? You want him or her to destroy their outfit? So chairman is like, ah, I don't, you know, I'm a guest. And you know, auntie was like, oh, we don't do that here. We said five, but the original time is eight. So give us between five. Chairman called his friend and was like, yo, where you at, man? His friend was like, oh, I'm right around the corner. That's another phrase. I'm right around the corner. It means that I'm two hours away. Two hours away, right around the corner. I'm two hours away. You know, not knowing Chairman's friend is just getting up from the bed. See ya. Just getting up. About to brush, shower, swag, swag on. And Chairman is still at the event helping the interior decorators, the DJ setup. And if you, you know, one thing that is funny is when you get there and then, you know, maybe there's a couple of people that came early and then they'd be like, oh, I mean, the DJ is not here yet. So can you use your phone and entertain these people? Like, ah, why are you guys paying me? Are you serious? <laughs> Chama big one. You know, it's funny though. Because you get there and then, you know, all these things happens. But the best part about, you know, going to an African event is when the event actually starts, right? You know, the food. Comes the food, you know. Gets to the time where you eat good food jollof shout out to african food man big shout out to african food shout out to african food you eat jollof you eat wache you eat pepper soup you drink pepper soup you eat you know all the all kinds of food from west africa east africa southern africa northern africa everywhere the food it's right. So when you eat the food, then it's like, ah, the food is, this food is trying to like, take my mind off, you know, the lateness of the event time. 
So you eat the food, it's, it tastes good. The taste, ah, the taste is like, damn, these people are very creative. And then comes, after that, you know, the music. Yeah, music comes with dance, azonto, zanku, you know, all these moves. Then, you know, you start moving, sweating a little bit. All of the sudden, you don't remember anything no more about the time, whether the event was late or not. It was enjoyable. Now, you know, one thing about this event is Auntie will come late, about maybe around, you know, an hour in, then Auntie arrives. 30 minutes later, Auntie will leave because then Auntie will bag about maybe seven plates take away to go. But Auntie only gave $20 gifts. $20 versus seven plates to go. You see the triceps popping out because Auntie is holding. It's very heavy. You see your uncle. Hey, go ahead, go ahead, help, go ahead, help your mother. Go, go and help her. Eh? Yeah? You came late. Twenty dollars. You took all the food. <laughs> and then, you know, the funny thing is, Auntie will go home and chop the food. They would, oh, the whole family will chop. They will eat every piece of the food, and then the next day, oh, who who made the food? It, it, it wasn't, it wasn't. Uh, but you ate it all. Next time, then try the the food at the event site before you order seven plates. Come early too. But you see, upon Africans' events starting late by the time states maybe five then it starts 8 p.m sharp an african will never be late when their manager says your paycheck will be ready 5 p.m they will be there around 4 30 sitting in the parking lot waiting just patiently waiting five king my man is there Where's the paycheck? An African will never be late when we say, oh, it's an interview for a job. Ah, um, my boy will be there early, sharp, looking fly. But an event, just know it's in the blood. We say five, it means eight. We say 10, it means, <laughs> it means 12. Africans are always late. Also, 